Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the ultimate pyromancer's guide. Ah, shit. My window is open, I just realized. Oh well, I'm not gonna stop the episode just to close it. As you can see, the Hide Knight is not here. I'm human. F I'm in human form and I have 6,000 souls. Basically, I started recording this episode, I killed the knight. I was like two minutes in when I noticed that my recording froze up for some reason. So, I basically had to... Uh, stop the recording, go back to the bonfire, and then start the episode again. That's why I'm not gonna bother getting up and closing my window, because not starting again. Um, but yeah, I killed the Hide Knight, picked up the spear, and the weapon. Not that I'm ever gonna... or those are the sa same things. I meant to say the souls and the weapon. Not that I'm ever gonna use that weapon, because just way too... Uh, dex heavy. Although I might be able to. I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the hide weapons. <coughs> Just in general. They're more faith related anyways because my, adapt my adaptability is really shitty. Because um, lightning scales off faith. But yeah, I'm way too off topic to start this episode. Uh, my plan here today is to hopefully take out the ruined sentinels. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open this shortcut to Macduff. I'm going to use the other bonfire for the uh, Ruin Sentinels anyways. But we might as well go ahead and pick up the Asus Flask Shard and all that other shit that's scattered around here. Okay, gonna go ahead and head to the back out here. Because this is where one of the shards is hiding. I don't have the key yet, so we cannot go the other way into the Bastille just yet. Oh wait, yeah, I do have the key. Fuck, I picked it up. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make some progress into this place down here. Because there's some treasure I pick up, what I... to be picked up. What I really want to get is... Oh wait. Where did I get this... Hmm, do I have enough to level up my weapon to... Uh, plus six. I think I do. So you know what? That would be really, really helpful. Oh shit. Yeah, this is... One disadvantage of the longsword is it can bounce off of things. But if you're careful, it shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm really liking the longsword, by the way. Uh, some people were asking in the comments why I didn't just go ahead and pick up the Fire Longsword that's down in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Honestly, the reason is I completely forgot it was even there. But yeah, there is a Fire Longsword down there. But whatever. These guys are not dead. Which is worrying. They need to heal up. Yeah, I completely forgot that thing was even there. Not that it matters too much. I can just go ahead and infuse this thing, upgrade it to plus 10 and infuse it along the fire path. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the uh, f fire drake stone, I think it's called, is not that difficult to come by. There's one in the iron keep. So really, I'm not going to lose out either way. Plus, I don't plan to use this as my main weapon. My main weapon is actually going to be the partisan. If you knock down this thing, the thing is going to come up filled with enemies and I think you can get the wanderer set there which is what I'm wearing so there's no point in really doing that do not need to pick up the bat staff oops but I should avoid falling off yeah this is a really good weapon the moveset of this thing is so awesome shit the reason I dodged off is because I, I don't want to ba break the other barrel. Because I think I can get access to the um, Archrake robes in there. Not that there's really a need for that. I'm liking the Wanderer set so far. I will switch it out eventually to something. Don't know what yet. Yeah, as you can see... Shit. I don't have the fucking... Um, God damn it. There you go, I got hit. Doesn't matter. Pick up this 
the Archdrake shield. I always forget which one this is. Oh yeah, this one is actually a pretty good shield. You know what? Let's use it. It has solid physical defense, pretty good magic defense. So all around it's a solid shield. Plus I'm wearing the Royal Soldier Ring, so I don't think it's gonna affect me too much weight-wise. Of course, if you use a Ferris's Lockstone there, you can get the Twin Blade. Oh shit, I didn't know they were... Do they gain poise when they do that attack? Weird. But yeah, these guys do drop life gems. This is the bad staff, by the way. I just said I don't need to pick this up, but I'm doing it anyway. A oh, bone staff, shit, not bad staff. There is such a thing as a bat staff in the game. But all of that will be covered in the Hexer's Guide. Which people have been asking me about and that's probably going to be my next guide. Um, should be interesting. And the Twin Blade. Which is very dex heavy. I'm interested just to see if they change the durability on the Twin Blade. Because back when the game came out, I remember trying the Twin Blade. And hmm, I didn't even get up to the boss, and it was already half broken. Broken, so I don't know. I kind of abandoned the idea of twin blades. I heard that they're pretty useful, and I've seen people using them, but I don't know. I think there are probably better weapons in the game, but I don't know. Like I said, not an expert yet on everything in this game. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Head back to the bonfire. And I'm gonna walk back to Majula, get my Asus Flask. As well as level up a bit, because I have 10,000 souls. And see if I can upgrade my weapon. Okay, no drops. As I mentioned in the previous episode, these guys can drop Lingering Flame. But you'd have to be very lucky to get that. Alright. The Ruined Sentinels... I don't know. Sometimes they're trouble, sometimes they're not. On the Sorcerer run they were... Eh, I had some trouble, I died a couple of times, but... In the end, I think it took like 4 tries. So, I don't know. I should really go and pick up the uh, Ring of Binding. But I'm too lazy to do that now. Really want to make progress. Because once I get to... I like, after the... Um, shit. To reinforce. After the Lost Sinner, I will finally have access to more... Um, Pyromancy spells. Plus once I unpetrify straight, straight of Olafis. Yes, it is a shard I found. To but yeah, probably if I finish up with this episode, I kill the Ruined Sentinels, However, I'll go back like and pick up the uh, Ring of Binding. Because it can be very useful. Okay, let's level up as well. Should we go for Adaptability? I feel like that's something I should be increasing quite a bit. I've never actually managed to get to a point where I'm fast rolling in this game. I know that it can happen, but like I said, personally I've never been able to do it. So let's see if we can work towards that, making that happen. I imagine you'd have to be very high in adaptability to be able to do that and have very light armor. So yeah, I'm pretty much about, well not even halfway in, so I think we're good to go. Red Deerstone Ring is actually very good in this game. I've been using it when I've been, I've been doing some uh, PvP in the arena with my mage character that I played the Sorcerer guy with, Guide with. The Red Deerstone Ring, barely any people use it. It was very good in Dark Souls 1 and it's just as good in this game. But for some reason people don't tend to use it. And I've killed people with Unleash Magic, Red Tearstone Ring, and Great Soul Arrow, and it one-shot them. So it is kind of ridiculous. 
risky, but very satisfying when you manage to pull off a kill. You know what? I should have bought some more life gems using these souls. Oh well. Not gonna go back now. As long as I can keep my Estus for the actual boss fight, it should be just fine. That was actually good. I had a, s a lot of trouble with these guys on my first playthrough, I remember. I thought that this area was like the hardest in the game. Of course, now I know that you can also just completely run past them. Which is actually a pretty good strategy if you're just trying to make it to the boss. And the other thing I've learned is that opening that gate down there is a bad idea. Because <clears throat> you'll just have more enemies on your ass. So yeah, let's get down here and pick up this human effigy. And a soul as well. Okay. My durability, I think, should be okay for the boss fight. We'll see. Hey there. And you're dead. Okay. I could summon what's, what's her name... Pilgrim Belclair, I think. But we're not gonna do that just yet. What I am gonna do... I think Dark Pine Resin should do more damage. Yeah, using up my last one. Okay, let's go. S we'll see how we do. Almost rolled off. That would be really bad. Yeah, I have a solid shield, so let's make this happen. Getting more adaptability was a good idea. Okay. You're dead. I'm actually going to wait for him to jump up. Because it will allow me to do some damage. Two hand my weapon here. While the other one is taking his sweet time coming up here. Okay, it's time to go down. I use a life gem. And we should be just fine. It's strange they usually don't do that where only one of them does a spin. Which one? Okay, this is the one I want. He is my focus, although the other one dropped his shield, which is a good chance for me to attack him. No, we're focusing on him first. Shit. I always manage to fuck that up. Basically, what you want to do is... Sh I'm dead. Ah, that spin move really killed me. What you want to do is keep backing up and then roll back. Oh well, doesn't matter. Can always try again. Even without the weapon buffs I was doing, I think I would be doing solid damage. So yeah, let's try this again. Okay, go ahead. No, you know what? I'm not gonna pop human effigy because you never know. You might die on the way to the boss and just have an effigy wasted. Okay. Gonna run here. I can actually run. Thank you. These guys do follow you uh, up here, but not into this building here. So. Just jump down here. And yeah, all of these soldiers will simply follow you in a s nice little single file. You can kill them at the top of this ladder. Or you can just straight to the run straight to the boss fog and not even have to worry about them. So yeah, whatever your choice is. Nice. L I got lucky with the live, uh, live gem drop there. So yeah, here they come. 
I can actually manage to hit them. It's only one of them coming. Damn, I'm disappointed. Don't know if I should go for Pilgrim Bell Claire. Nah, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. Wonder if this is gonna heal me up all the way. It's not gonna, is it? No, yes it will. Alright. Let's get going here. Like I said, not gonna buff up because... It'll actually allow me to use my fireball spell. And like I said, doing decent damage anyways. This boss is more dodgy than block related. Even though I just got slapped in the back. Just that their attack um, or their arc is very wide on that swing. Goes all the way to the back. Hey, I managed to stun her. That doesn't happen too often. Okay, you're dead. And now, what I can actually do is this. That deals shit damage. Alright. Jumping up. Oops, I tried to do a jump attack. And I managed to completely fail. Okay, it's time to get down. Throwing your shield already. What the hell was that? <laughs> Are you serious? Did that thing just bounce off my shield? Because if it did, that is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me in this game. Managed to avoid the attack there. Holy shit, was that awesome. If that's actually what happened, I'm gonna have to rewatch that and see. Oh, no, he was doing the spin, shit, doesn't matter, that was fucking awesome, damn, I cannot wait to rewatch that, if that's actually what happened, alright, guess you learn something new every day, you can get that shit to bounce off your shield, okay, one more try, I think I have time for that, and you know what? I'll use Belclair, fuck it. I like uh, teaming up with the NPCs in this game, some of them. In the last playthrough I was summoning all the care, uh, the story related NPCs like Lucatil and Benhart. This time I'll summon all the random NPCs and there are quite a few of them in the game. I'm also gonna summon Mas Masterless Glencore cause he kicks ass. Yeah, let's do a reverse of what I did in the first playthrough. So yeah, this time we're going for all the fucking like obscure NPCs in the game. Wow, he was like a lot faster than he was before. Okay. Change of plans. We'll kill these two. Looks like these two are the only ones that f actually follow you. Oh well. Child, surprised I didn't kill him. Common fruit, that's the poison increased one, isn't it? I think so. Oh shit, wait, use a humanity. Okay, good, just in time. See, the thing is, if you use a life gem and it fills up your HP once, it stops working. So you really want to get the maximum out of it. Alright, Belclair, let's do this shit. Who else is like a random NPC that you can summon? There's Ashen Knight Boyd, there's that uh, Hunter in... What the hell are you doing? Did she just fire off a spell? Just like... Out of the blue? Alright. Guess that's your choice. I still deal decent damage. I was worried she was not coming. Never know what stupid shit the NPCs are gonna pull in this game. Crystal Soul Spear, nice. She has like infinite castings too, so... Good for her. 
She's like using all the best spells in the game. And I mean really. Wish she was actually smart enough to stay up here. Goddamn truck. Yeah. She has problems with the AI. But you know what? We're going to use this as a chance to not get some fireballs in. We want her to survive. Shit. That was the like worst thing ever. I tried to be like so cool. And I ended up failing. She's going to die. All right, you're our intended target. Shit, does she have like the ring of the evil eye on her? Ring of red eye ring, whatever it's called. Because they're focusing on her really badly. All right, yeah, you take the heat. Or I take the heat for a bit with this guy. I don't want to be stuck with both of these guys and no Belle Claire. Like I said, luckily she has infinite castings of um, all her spells. So really she can do whatever she wants. And I think she has some miracles as well, which she never ever uses. But she has a um, chime with her as well. Okay, this it might be a smarter idea to block that. I always keep forgetting that I have a decent shield. If Backlack can survive, that's going to be a fucking miracle. This one is on my ass as well. Okay, okay, we're doing good. Focus on the other one a bit, Belclair. Just shoot it and he'll be dead. God damn it. Don't be stupid, Belclair. Okay. Nice stun there. Shit! No! Ah, god damn it. Really thought I had it. Ah well, whatever. The other thing you can do if you don't don't want to keep wasting human effigies is you can just lay down your summon sign here. You're gonna get into co-op, and co-oping is a good way to get your humanity back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll end the episode here. I really thought we had these motherfuckers, but I guess not. Ah well. You know what? I might as well. Go and get the Ring of Binding, and then get back here. You know what? I might just go ahead and do that. We'll see. So yeah, I'll end the episode here, definitely. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this part of Dark Souls 2, even though I kind of didn't get too much done. But yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.